Reed. Welcome to your Thursday warm up. We got an AMRAP by eight minutes, a little bit longer here, making sure we get nice and warm. We got 45 seconds of cardio to start it off. Then we have 10 dumbbell, single dumbbell strict press here. So we're just going two hands on one dumbbell. Then we have 10 and 10 dumbbell Russian twists, so a total of 20 reps. 10 single dumbbell ground to overheads and 10 single dumbbell front squats. So, as cardio options, we start with jumping jacks here. We can do high knees or running in place here, trying to get those knees as high as we can. Then we go down to the ground for mountain climbers is another option. We can do jump ropes, single unders, double unders. We could also run outside, do burpees, up downs. Then we have 10 single dumbbell strict press here. So we'll hold that dumbbell across our chest here. We're pressing up overhead. We got 10 reps. We can bicep to ear at the top of our rep, making sure we lock those arms out nice and straight at the top. All right, control, control, control. Then we are on the ground. We have 10 and 10 dumbbell Russian twists. So we're going a soft count of 20 total reps here. All right, making sure we tap that dumbbell to the ground, get a full rotation. Let those eyes follow that chest as we twist. All right, don't keep that chest stationary. Make sure we get a full rotation in that torso. Then we have 10 dumbbell ground to overheads. So we'll be standing on our feet here, holding that dumbbell horizontally, going across the shins first. Then we explode up through the hips, driving that dumbbell straight up our body and straight back down. All right, then last but not least, 10 dumbbell front squats. You know, hold that dumbbell across our shoulders here. Nice high elbows and we're rocking with a nice squat here. Hips are driving back and down. Knees are over our toes. All right, there's no collapsing of the knees and knees aren't driving out too far. They are directly over that third toe and our foot. Then our workout here. Got four sets on a 12 minute clock. All right, so there's no EMOM here. So we're not guided by a certain amount of time for a certain amount of reps. We're going, we actually have a certain amount of reps, but not a certain amount of time, sorry. You're trying to get four sets of all three of these movements. So ideally you're done with one whole set. So that would be the six, the 10 and the three all done within three minutes. So we can end right around that 12 minute mark. So we have six dumbbell tempo strict press here. So we're gonna go with a single dumbbell strict press again. Then we have 10 single dumbbell front raises and we have three wall walks or three inchworms depending on where we're at with our skill on that handstand hold or inchworm. Then we have a Metcon by 10 minutes. All right, we have a modified Karen. For those of you at home, if you don't have a med ball or a place to throw your med ball at, we have the dumbbell, all right, modified Karen. So we have 150 single dumbbell thrusters at 25 and 15 there. So with our sixth dumbbell tempo strict press, our tempo is gonna be one, one, two, one. So we're looking for good control on the way up here. As we come down, it's one second. As we pause at the bottom, it's one second. And then as we drive back up, we're going two seconds on the way back up. So nice and slow on the press back up. One second pause at the top, one second coming down, one second pause at the bottom, and two seconds on the way back up. So really, most likely gonna look like a normal, sh uh, normal shoulder press until we press back up. All right, so that point where we're trying to press from the bottom, we're taking a nice long time, or a nice long two seconds to press all the way back overhead. Notice how she's keeping a nice long spine, neutral pelvis, her glutes are tight, and she's pressing those biceps to her ears right there. Then after our six reps, we have 10 single dumbbell front raises. So we'll hold that dumbbell across like that again. And we're just raising those shoulders all the way out in front, making her shoulders stay nice and back. And notice how she pulled those shoulders back before she did her front raise. She's not reaching out to that dumbbell. She wants to think about short arms, not long arms reaching forward. All right, so with that, we have 10 reps, nice and controlled on the way down especially. Then we have three wall walks or three inchworms here without the push-up. So we'll, we'll demo our wall walks here. All right, a full wall walk, we'd be in a push-up position right in front of our wall. We're gonna walk our feet up the wall here, make sure you got socks on or something like that so don't dirty up your walls. And we're walking those hands back, 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 back against the wall and we end up in a handstand here. Then we walk our hands out and walk those feet down the wall all the way. All right, that would be one full rep there. And she would rest for a second, she would hop back up and there's a second rep. But if we are not on that wall walk page just yet, we have inchworms that work the shoulders in a very, very similar way. So we're gonna get a hamstring stretch here and we're walking out nice and slow, trying to put all of that weight into our shoulders. We come out to a push-up position. We do one push-up, strict or modified, and then we slowly walk those hands back in, shifting the weight left to right, left to right on those hands. We stand up, that was one rep. This would be rep number two here. She's coming all the way out. She would complete a push-up, either strict or modified, and then she's walking those hands all the way back in, shifting that weight left hand to right hand, left hand to right hand. After three reps, you would restart back at the top and grab four sets of all three of those movements. And then our modified Karen here, we've got 150 reps of single dumbbell thrusters. Gonna hold that dumbbell right in front of our chest. 
getting a full squat, and we're exploding straight back up. All right, looking for that stretch reflex at the bottom of our squat as we come back up. It's a big punch to the ceiling, so don't think about it as a squat and a press. Think about it as one fluid motion. That's what that thruster is for, right? You're using that squat to help create some momentum to drive that dumbbell overhead, and you're going for time. You have 10 minutes on the clock, and you're trying to complete 150 reps before that 10 minutes is up. Get after it, guys.